this is Norm with Quantum Innovations and I'm here to talk to you about uh, an ion source. How does it work? What does it do for us? So this is an end hall ion source, which is the primary type that we use in uh, ophthalmic industry. And the purpose of this is we're gonna microscopically etch the lenses with this. So uh, how this works is, uh, is actually very interesting. And, um, and for somebody in electricity or electronics, this may be fairly sim simple or simplistic. And, and um, uh, maybe uh, you already understand some of these concepts, but I want to talk about this just briefly. So what I've drawn up here, and forgive me, I'm not the best artist in the world, but, but I wanted to just capture for us what's actually going on in this. So we have gas flow of argon uh, that is coming up through the center of the uh, ion source through the middle here, and it's coming up through this throat. Uh, what, what we have then is we have a current that's flowing through the filament. The filament is going to emit electrons. Those electrons are actually going to bombard the molecules of argon, turning them into positive ions. So initially the electrons are drawn towards the anode here and the positive pole of the magnet. And then once they hit the argon molecules and they're turned into a positive ion, they're repelled by the positive. So as we know in electrical or electronic theory that uh, likes repel and opposites attract. So when this positive uh, ion sees this strong positive of this anode and this magnet, they get repelled out of the throat of the, uh, of the ion source and get propelled toward the lenses. Now when they come in, come in, in contact with another surface, they will want to uh, get their electron back so they are going to impact that surface and take a little bit of, a, of it away in the form of an electron and then they're going to turn back into argon and be pumped out of the system. So that's in general how the ion source works.